Church Town Board to order for July 6, 2009. And roll call, please. Thomas Woods? Yes. Shield Rockway? Yes. Gerard Benedict? Here. Mark Manick? Yes. Bernie Bassett? Yes. Jim Powell? Here. Here. Resolution 09222. Resolved that the minutes of June 15, 2009 be approved and the reading of the minutes be dispensed with. I have a motion? So moved. Mr. Woods? Second. Second. Mr. Renadet, any discussion? Uh, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Sheila Brockway? Yes. Gerard Renadet? Yes. Mark Manick? Yes. Bernie Bassett? Yes. Resolution, uh, I'm sorry, uh, this is, thank you. <laughs> it doesn't take too many words, just a ah, oh, we'll get <laughs> I'm looking at a short agenda tonight, thinking of what I can do this, need to do this evening. Um, this is the portion of our meeting where we ask if there's anyone who would like to address the board, uh, invited to do so. Uh, we'd ask them to state their name, address, and keep their comments to five minutes. I thought you were going to say keep your comments to yourself. <laughs> I do have a couple of things that I would like to bring to your attention tonight, um, which I'm sure you can rectify in no time flat. Um, on June 15th, 2009, the town board uh, passed resolution 09215, which is the Freedom of Information Law Procedures. And on page, oh, it looks like one or two, well, the last page of that, um, the procedures, um, you cite section 80. 3A of the Public Officers Law. And there isn't any Section 83A of the Public Officers Law. So apparently, something happened. You do that twice, and um, Section 80 um, refers to delivery of public books and has no subsections or subparagraphs or anything. In it. And it's not even under the FOIL. It has to be just a little corrected somehow there. Okay? Just thought I'd bring that to your attention. Yeah. And um, on the same evening, you passed resolution 09214, which is the town board meetings of 2009 amending resolution 0902. And this had to do with uh, the times of the meetings. Like we're going to change the time from 6.30 to 6.15. Now, I'm not sure that you, if you are aware that on March 18th, 2009, the assembly passed, um, let's see, what is this, an amendment to um, section 104 of public notice of this is open meeting laws. The Senate on April 21st, 09, passed the same uh, bill, and it was signed by the governor on May 12, 2009, and it says, when a public body has the ability to do so, notice of the time and place of a meeting given in accordance with subdivision one or two of this section shall also be conspicuously posted on the public body internet website. So not only should this change of time be posted out in the <coughs> hall and on the bulletin board and in the newspaper, it should be put on the website. And since that's relatively new, you probably haven't run into that yet. And then the other thing I'd like to just clear up a little bit is um, during the informational meeting on Cumberland Head, Mr. Manick said that it's not a Christmas, mm -hmm. actually, that um, we have zoning because the regulations in place on Cumberland Head for one acre, mm -hmm. and um, actually the town doesn't zone an acre zones in square feet. And um, Cumberland Head has two different zones, R4 and R3. Mm -hmm. R4 is zoned for 40,000 square feet, which is less than an acre. And R3 is zoned with public water and sewer at 20,000 square feet. So that's mm -hmm. less than a half an acre. So I just wanted to clear it up that. Yep. We don't really have, it. we do have acres for agricultural and um, modular home parks. But other than that, everything in the town is zoned in square feet. Not any of it is zoned for anything. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.
there anyone else that would like to address the board this evening? If not, we will move on to resolution 223. Resolved is the abstract of order of claims number 7A-09 in the amount of $852,295.33 be received and reviewed by the audit committee and the supervisor is hereby authorized to send pay abstract. I have a motion. So moved. Mr. Mannix, second. Mr. Brockway, any discussion? Okay. Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Shield Brockway? Yes. Gerard Renadin? Yes. Martin Mannix? Yes. Bernie Bassett? Yes. Resolution 224. <clears throat> Whereas the coach enforcement officer, Alan Reese, has completed his training. And whereas the training is free, but lodging and meals were charged. And whereas the resolution 09-53 was passed with a budget for lodging at $640 and meals to be $336. And whereas the total bill submitted by Mr. Reese for the cost was $666.74 for lodging and $372 for meals, making the cost over by $93. Therefore, it be resolved that an additional budget cost of $93 be taken from the Coast Department for travel and training, and it be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be submitted to the Accounting Department. A motion. So moved. Mr. Renadak, second. second. Ms. Brockway, any discussion? I'm just as a way of quick comment, I know that this is some question as as to why this was published at a certain <coughs> amount and ended up being something different. Um, I guess there, there could be several different explanations for that. Bottom line is receipts were turned in and the amount is what the amount is. And in order to make sure that we're not in violation of uh, paying a bill that we never authorized payment for, it, uh, it is incumbent on us to, to go ahead and change this resolution. You know, we can sit here and we can argue until the cows come home that it's not right that the advertised price was, was X and turned out to be X plus $20. Bottom line is, uh, again, Alan turned in receipt for this. He's entitled to be, uh, to recover payment and the vendors are entitled to get payment for it, so. And I don't believe that, that we're dealing with even advertised uh, rates. I think what happened was there was a telephone call made asking what what they th felt, you know, what would the rate, what's the rate, you know, or what's the charge going to be, or what's your charge for a room, mm -hmm. and they got a rate, and of course then as the season moves toward the, the summer, the rates go up. Yeah. Okay. But this doesn't come out exactly, but uh, covers it. So, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Shield Rockway? Yes. Yeah. Gerard Yes. Mark Manick? Yes. Bernie Bassett? Yes. Resolution 225. <clears throat> Whereas the town board had previously authorized the improvements required for wastewater metering, and whereas the consultant engineer of the Verge Engineering and Consultant Group Limited have prepared contract documents for the construction of a wastewater metering, therefore be resolved that the town clerk is hereby authorized to advertise for bids was a project entitled Wastewater Metering. And that said advertisement shall be placed in the Press Republican with bids to be open on August 11, 2009 at 11 a.m. at the Town of Plattsburgh Town Hall, 151 Banker Road, Plattsburgh, New York, 12901. I have a motion. Ms. Brockway, second. Second. Mr. Renadan, any discussion? The only thing I would just ask uh, Rick is, um, <coughs> Is there some indication in the bid form for non-collusive bidding certificates? There is going to be. Okay. It, it was omitted, but I, okay. it came, came back to lay on. So we, yeah, they added. said no matter what, it's okay. always got to be. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Any other questions? This is, this is to complete the project, so we'd be able to know exactly how much we use in various parts of town, including the former bid. Right, this is part of the Shared Municipal Services Incentive Grant that we got a couple of years ago, uh, with uh, the focus being to uh, get accurate counts of water that is being treated. 
So we pay for what we get, and they, you know, get paid for the uh, treatment that takes place. And and that grant money is being um, used for this. Okay. We're not 100% sure of the the end result. Uh, you know, it may indicate that we're actually able to reduce the charge because we have a more accurate measurement of the flow and it may indicate that we're we'll down a little more than we thought we were. It'll be accurate data though, yeah. and that's what's important. And I do have a copy, uh, Rick, of the uh, uh, non-collusion certificate uh, with my uh, documentation. and We'll make sure that's part of the uh, advertisement language before it goes out. Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Shield Rockway? Yes. Gerard Renata? Yes. Martin Manick? Yes. Ernie Bassett? Yes. Resolution 226. Whereas the town of Plattsburgh has had an annual maintenance renewal agreement with Twin State, and whereas Twin State has submitted a renewal agreement to the town for service from July 16, 2009 to July 16, 2010, and whereas the town board has provided with the general fund of the town of Plattsburgh in 2008 budget for the renewal of its one-year contract with Twin State in the amount of $4,290.24. And whereas the town attorney has approved as to form a one-year contract submitted by Twin State. Now, therefore, it is resolved that a one-year renewal contract submitted by Twin State is approved and the supervisor is hereby authorized to execute the same for the town of Plattsburgh. I have a motion. Okay. Mr. Brockway, second. Second. Mr. Remdeck, any discussion? Right. Do we know how much, if anything, that, of an increase this amount of payment? I don't have the exact number. It was in the, I believe it was around $40 more than the previous year. We're talking about a 1% increase? Yes. It's about what it would boil around. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Thomas Wood? Yes. Sheila Brockway? Yes. Gerard Renadette? Yes. Mark Manick? Yes. Ernie Bassett? Yes. Resolution 227. <clears throat> Whereas the town clerk has received an application with a fee for a license to conduct and operate a place of public amusement within the town of Plattsburgh namely the Agricultural and Industrial Fair of Clinton County Incorporated at the Clinton County Fairgrounds. And whereas the said application received the insurance of, of a New York State Certificate of Inspection by the Code Enforcement Officer indicating full compliance and a check in the amount of $600 has been submitted to the town clerk's office. Therefore, it be resolved the pending required certificates and certificates of insurance naming the town of Plattsburgh as an additional insurer, the town clerk is hereby authorized to issue said license for a period of Tuesday, July 21st through Sunday, July 26, 2009. Once the town clerk has received all of the permits and bonds. Have a motion. So moved. Mr. Brockway, second. Second. Mr. Brennadat, any discussion? Same, same basic contract as last year. Yes. The, the one thing we did uh, about quarter or five, I think, this afternoon, received the Certificate of Liability Insurance, but they named the uh, Clinton County Fair as the certificate holder. Um, I have a note here that says they will be uh, sending another one, uh, noting the town of Plattsburgh and we will hold off signing this until all documentation is in place. Good. That was my question. We do have the check. We just need the certificate. Absolutely. We just need the certificate. We do need it. That's stuck. Any other questions? Um, I, I got a quick one. I don't know why it never done in the previous years, but uh, as I'm looking over this license as required, 
and I'm really not trying to not trying to create a problem for the for the fair. But under uh, Section 2D, it's like the last page that, that we've got for each license for operating an outdoor theater per year. The grandstand is not considered an outdoor theater. I mean, it's not it's not something that we have done in the past, and, and I'm not again I'm not trying to create a problem for the fair, but I'm just wondering if that's a classification. Here, Brian, I'll just, you know, it's got the prices for the permit for the fees, and, and under D, they've got outdoor operating of an outdoor theater. Yes. I don't know. So how they five, over time, that's automatically assumed yeah. that they. Well, that. My, my guess is the definition would have been applicable to the former Route Three drive-in theater as okay. an outdoor theater, which is a totally different. Venue. Okay. Uh, I, I will certainly check on that. Well, you, you had the Route 3, you had the one over 87. Right. Over yeah. 87, and you had the one on Route 9. Yeah. I, I, <clears throat> that, that would make sense. I just want to make sure that just in case. Kind of a generic up, form. You know, and again, the fair has been going on since forever, and uh, it seems a shame to bring it up at this point in time, but I want to make sure that we, you know, mm -hmm. we've got everything answered if, if the question should arise. Yeah. Well, there used to be a lot of outdoor theaters down here. I mean, thanks for calling that, but I'm moving. Yeah. <laughs> just another, just a, a separate issue on this. Uh, not a big, not a big one, but I think it's one that needs to be addressed. On their certificate of insurance for the um, the fireworks, or am I jumping ahead? Uh, you're jumping ahead a little bit. All right, I'll wait. I'll wait a little bit. Okay. Anything else on 227? No. Roll call. Thomas Wood. Yes. Sheila Brockway. Yes. Right, Renatus. Yes. Mark Manick. Yes. Bernie Vest. Yes. Resolution 228. <clears throat> Whereas Auburn Telstar, Telstar Display Fireworks Incorporated has submitted to the town, town board of the town of Foster an application for permit to public display of fireworks on July 21st, 2009 at the Clinton County Fairgrounds situated along Route 22B in the town. Whereas the town is not required to collect a fee for the granting of such permit, and whereas the town board has determined that in lieu of an adequate bond in the amount of $1 million being provided by the applicant, a commercial general liability insurance policy in the minimum amount of $1 million for each occurrence and general aggregate coverage in the minimum amount of $1 million with the town being named as the insured on said policy be accepted and also be submitted to the town attorney for his review and upon the town attorney approving of the application and liability insurance coverage as to form and the Clinton County Fairground as the controlling agent of the land on which the public display of fireworks is to be held, having also approved the granting of said application by the town, now therefore it be resolved that the town clerk be and she should submit, he should submit, is authorized and directed to issue the required permit for the public display of fireworks by, by the applicant on Tuesday, July 21st, 2009, at the Clinton County Fairground situated along Route 22B in the town. Upon the town attorney approving and said application as complying with the conditions and requirements of section 205.00 of the penal law. I have a motion. So moved. Mr. Renovac, second. Ms. Brock. Any discussion? Uh, is it, I think it's, did you say 205 or yeah, I think it's 405? 405. Not that I know what that means off the top of my head after what that's what it is. <coughs> Issue I want to bring attention to on their certificate of insurance. Uh, they don't have Blacksburg properly spelled. You may want to ask them to. Just go back to the company, have the company produce it. Uh, there, there was two things to on there. The spelling is wrong, and also their uh, workman's compensation insurance ran out the 1st of July. So, so I, I had them note that, too, and also they're, they're supposed to send a new certificate tomorrow. Good. Okay. So, and you, so you already brought out the, brought their attention to spelling of plants? Right. Great. Right on the ball. Right. That was a lot of time and energy spent.
spent putting that age. I know, and we just don't want yeah. to dismiss that casually. No. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't put that on. Everything else looks okay. Now, is this going to be concluded in the same bond as the other one? I don't think so. No, they're no. two separate. They're totally two, different. Two different events. Yeah, they're two different. They're two separate things. So, so we've received this oh. or haven't? We just got this late this afternoon. This we is got why you didn't see this. The early. certificate is incorrect. Right. So we're going to pass this based on getting the correct certificate for report was coming. Got it. Keeps the fair moving forward. We don't have time Yeah. Well, it gives us the benefit of time versus waiting for them to submit something that's you know, 24 hours before they need it. We've got time now to slow down reviews, and, and I'm glad Ricky's uh, already indicated he's looking these over before they ever get to us, which is very good. Roll call. Thomas Wood. Yes. Bill Brockway. Yes. Dwight Renata. Yes. Martin Bannock. Yes. Barney Bassett. Yes. If no one has anything else, I'm at the end of the very small stack this evening. Uh, of regular resolutions, I would want to remind everyone that next Monday our regular work session will be held at Clinton Community College. That's an informational uh, session for residents of Cumberland Head that would be uh, impacted by the creation of a uh, sewer district in that part of the town. That's Monday the 13th. It's Monday the 13th, 6.30, Clinton Community College at the, in the uh, gymnasium. Uh, so we just have in the gym. Got another yeah. In the gym. Yeah. Letters uh, have been mailed. Uh, I don't know if they made today's uh, mail in time. If not, they go out tomorrow. I know they got stuff today. As well as we will have uh, an advertisement, uh, a notice in the newspaper. Um, and we'll get one on the web if I can get that in in time in advance. Hopefully, it's not a problem. I would also like to remind everyone that this weekend uh, is a very exciting weekend in Plattsburgh. We have a major fishing tournament, the FIW. Uh, the final weigh-ins uh, will be held this year at the Fieldhouse. Um, it is the Super Bowl of <coughs> fishing tournaments. Uh, I think I read somewhere there's a million dollar purse on this one. They're giving away a Ranger boat. Uh, activities for families, for youngsters. Uh, to go. I know there will be quite a few uh, uh, giveaways uh, for participants as well. So it's a very exciting uh, thing and I'm sure they will be again uh, filming for specials on ESPN. Does so that have anything to do with the boats that are at the Crate Center right yes. now? Yeah. Or is that something it's, else? I it's, don't know. It say. starts early this week. That's the final weigh-in. So yes. Oh, they, so that's, I think they're launching there's a whole bunch of boats more. at the Crate mm -hmm. uh, Center right, right now. That's yeah. part of it. No, that's that's going on this weekend the same time as the mayor's. Yeah, the the final weigh-in, the the big event, uh, big public event, will be this weekend. But they'll be fishing during the week. So they'll, will they be, they'll be fishing then during the uh, during the race. Okay. Well, I'm sure somebody's coordinating. I think they'll win though, but uh, <laughs> no sale, no race, I guess. <laughs> Anyone have anything else for us this evening? And I, and I did hear that we were going to get a couple days uh, in the month of July without rain. So Is that right? You heard that word? Heard that? Out. Well, with that said, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. <laughs> well, with the two days of rain, I'll... I'll, I'll it's been second. rainy and cool. Will it be above 50? Second. Second, Mr. Renadat. Any discussion on that motion? A roll call. Thomas Wood. Yes. Sheila Brockway. Yes. Gerard Renadat. Yes. Mark Manning. Yes. Running yes, we'll stand adjourned at 6.56. Everyone drive carefully.